What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Marvin. It's Big Marv Kicks, and I'm back with another video, man. Hey, man, I'm just, you know, I'm just, just, just munching on these Supreme Skittles, man. These things go crazy. Nah, I'll be real. Just a hype beast thing, man. It tastes like regular Skittles, but hey, it's the nostalgia factor, all right? Nostalgia factor. But today on Marvelous Monday, I will be going over what I picked up from Sneaker Freaks, man. And like I said, I spent a lot of money at Sneaker Freaks, but I made a lot of money. So I got a lot of personals. I did a lot of trades, man. So let's get into this. I will be bringing you a vault today, but, you know, with the copyrights here and there and the music playing in the background. So I got to switch it up, man. Next year, like I said, better camera, stuff like that for vlogging. So more vlogs will be on the way for Marvelous Mondays, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this, all right? Let's, what are we waiting on? All right, let's go. First pickup, man. They're probably one of my most exciting pickups. Check these out. Air Jordan 11 Prom Nights, size 12. Yo, these things are crazy. I picked this up from a um from a vendor sneaker freeze. I can't remember his name, man. But like, check these out. These things are only only been worn once. Worn once, dude. And I think he said he wore them inside to like a special event. Whatever, like this, man. These on like on like uh goat and like stock X go for like five brand new or something like that. Man, these are one once great condition. I'm talking about no creasing, no creasing anywhere, no yellowing on the bottoms. I mean, you still got the jump man on the inside. Yo, I'm talking about name tag even looks like side tag even looks brand new on these. Oh, I got these for a crazy steal. So I came up to him, basically told me throw him an offer. I'm really bad at offers, man, because, like, people say I lowball people. I mean, hey, I just, it's, the, I'm be honest with you. The price of a shoe is how much you're willing to pay. I'm be completely honest with you. So he said, man, well, retailing these were, 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 two, were 220, let's do 300. I said, man, let's do 240. He said, cool. So I got these for 240, man. No box. It don't, I don't matter. It's going to my personal collection. Worn once, man. These is a crazy steal on these, man. Like I said, crazy steal on these. All right, let's get into the next shoe. Another shoe. This is my second most, like, I was happy about this one, too. Like, everything I got, man, like, they're going personals, and they're going straight to the feet whenever I get a fit for them, man. Like, like really going straight to the feet. I got the Travis Scott Sixes, man, the olive joints. You see, I got the British khakis in the back, man. The olive Travis Scott Sixes, man. I got these for a steal from my guy. I think it was named the, the Drip Factory or, or, yeah, man, but crazy on these. You can still see the Nike Air on the inside. Got a little bit of wear on these, though. Got a little bit of wear on these, but that's okay. I swear the Travis's with a little bit of wear looks much better. As you can see, that uh, the rip stitching right here on the tongue. Suede still looks good. Suede still butter, man. Like, crazy, crazy still on these, man. I end up getting these like brand new on these for GOAT. People looking for like $650 on these, man. Like $700 brand new. Or like or like used. People just looking for $600 used, man. I got these worn without the OG box. Dude, I end up getting these for $400. Can't beat that, man. I told him, I said, hey, man, let me get these for $400. I bought something else off your table. He said, bet. So, hey. I, I gotta show you, I got these with a package deal, man. Package deal on these. So, hey, actually, I don't even have the shoe right next to you. Hey, give me one moment. All right, so I'm back, man. So, like I said, the package deal I got with the Travis's, I got the Travis's from them, and I got the Moon Gray Foam Runners, man. Size 13, man. Worn once. Like I said, size 13, my size. I like foam runners, man. I need size 13, man. These things fit so snug, man. Like they like stuck to your to your socks, man. So I need size 13. These right here, like when they first dropped, man, people were paying like $200 for these. Bro, these right now, brand new, go stupid. They're like $500 brand new. Especially in my size, man. Size 12, size 13, size 12 and a half, bro. Are all crazy sizes now. Like people, like people need those, man. I don't know. I guess it's like. I don't know. I mean, babies getting bigger feet now. I guess. Who knows, man? But yeah, like I said, I got these and the Travis's. Total for both of these. I got both of these for $720. $720 for both of these. Still on both of these, man. 
Like I said, brand new, man. These go for like around seven. Brand new, these go for like $500, man. So still on both of these. So I end up paying, like I said, 400 for these, 320 for these, still on these, man. So, hey, I can't complain. This is my second favorite purchase of the day was these right here. I caught them I caught them all at one table, man. So I got three shoes. I got the, the prom nights, the Travis's, the foam runners. What else I pick up? What else I pick up? Okay. And like I said, that was my second favorite transaction. But what's crazy though, my next transactions are still heat. I promise you. So I did pick up, I did pick up some apparel. Um, so I got a 2XL uh Yams Day shirt. ASAP Yams, or RP ASAP Yams. Like I said, that's the back right here, the 1988 ASAP Yams. I think that's when he was born. Like I said, got the little uh ASAP Yams MLB logo right here. So <clears throat> I got some um some nice clothing here. I was gonna pick up another shirt, man, but um my man was taxing, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got this for uh he wanted 54, I got it for 40 dollars. We willing and dealing out there, man. We willing and dealing out there. So I bring up my total at the end. I add all my total but what I spent for personals, all right? For personal stuff. Now right here, I got a size 13. Oh. Yeezys, man. Yeezy boots 350s. This is the non-reflective pair. But you see the 3M and the laces. I still got the 3M and the laces, man. But this is the non-reflective pair right here. Like I said, I got these. These were tried on. I'm going to be honest with you, tried on. You see on the inside, that Adidas still there on both sides. That boost, that boost is still there. I'm talking about no yellow on the boost. These were tried on, man. I got it from a kid in his park. They were just looking to get rid of them. I said, what you want for them? He said... He said 350. I ended up talking this man down to $300 for these for trying on pair. These right here, the market value on these, man, go for 450. The, the actual reflective pair, where it's all three of them on the inside, go for like 525. But these right here go for like 450, brand new on StockX and Goat. So another steal right here for $300, man. You can't beat this in a size 13. These are like legitimate, all, my, all of these pairs will be worn, man. It's going all to my personal collection. So they're like, these are crazy, man. Crazy steals on these. Like I said, and this is, honestly, this is my least favorite pickup. Least favorite. So, but still five, man. So, like I said, with the tally, I, I will tally up all this at the end, man. But, hey, all these, like I said, going back to the back, man. So, let's get into more stuff here, man. What else you got? Last but not least, I'm talking about what I mean by not least, I mean not least. This is probably my most expensive pickup of the day, all right? Most expensive pickup of the day, all right? Check this out. Y'all see that? Y'all see them hands, man. Them Jordan hands, man. That says Union right there, all right? These Union boxes so far, size 12 and a half, man. That's that unicorn. At 12 and a half, that's that unicorn I'm trying to tell you. Look at the paper. Look at the details on this, man. Look at the, look at the paper, man. Look at the Jordan paper on these, man. Look at the detail, yo. Look at the, look at the detail. But check these out right here. I've been looking for these, man. Size 12 and a half. I made a trade for these, man. I traded in um, my Vermilion foam runners and paid the rest in cash on these, man. So, like I said, size 12 and a half in the OG Union 4s, man. OG Union 4. I'm talking about OG R. I'm brand new. Ain't even touched the, ain't even, ain't even touched the floor, man. I'm talking about you can lick the bottom. I ain't finna ain't lick the bottom of it, but you catch my point, man. Nike Air on the back. Come on, man. See that Nike on the back? Hang tag still on. Got the got the extra laces, the extra yellow laces on there. These yellow laces don't go at all with the shoe. I ain't gonna lie. So them probably gonna stay stay in the box or whatever like that. Size 12 and a half. I didn't even know they made these in 12 and a half. Size 12 and a half unicorn. 
The cool, see the difference about these four compared to other fours, it's the size of the tongue. So you see here on this tongue, these tongues are folded, man. So these tongues are folded. So you see the stitching right here? That stitching is holding that tongue down, all right? So what I plan on doing when I rock these, man, I'm cutting that and I'm flipping it up. As soon as I, even if I don't wear them, as soon as I cut that tongue, these are considered non-DS. So before I do it, I, I'm going to make sure I'm going to wear them, but I'm going to rock these, man. I got the, me got the mesh right here at the top. Got the suede. Sway right here. And it's just crazy, dude. Got the got like the uh, the yellowish bottom. And then like, like fours, man, hurt my feet though. But the fact that I can get a four to 12 and a half, 13 is great, man. So give a little room for my pinky toes. This I ain't gonna lie, this is my this is my third favorite carpet of the day. Them prom nights is my number one. The Olive Yeezys and the Foam Runners was my second. This is my third. I have been eyeballing these, man. This was sitting on my man's table. Uh, he had them for eight fifty. I posted on my IG. I asked my people, should I get them? I had a couple of DMs saying I should get them. A couple of DMs saying I shouldn't get them. But like, man, I gotta have these, man. I gotta have these. They go with my. I got a pretty impressive four collection back there, man. I got the the Travises. The the off whites got the thunders got the lightning so let me add some unions to that lightning let me add some flavor man so yeah this right here is crazy see that union LA tag on the side this is a crazy pickup man so happy so let's see let's hey man let me let me get some time let me get some time to add all this up so we can we can I can figure out how much I spend all right so hey let me get back to you guys a few moments later. So I thought I just did some some quick math here. Uh, also, I forgot about these the archaic nines. I guess you could say organized mean condition. You really can't even find these, man. Also, only like one, maybe once or twice. Inside, still got that on there. I'm uh, probably gonna sell these though. Throw these on Big Mob Kicks for still. Um, after that, after a total of everything I bought, I spent two bands, man. Spent two bands on, like I said, the Yeezys, the Foam Runners, the Prom Knights, the Travis Scott, the ASAP Yams, and the Unions, man. Hey, man. Hey, tell me how I did. All right? Like I said, drop in the bottom. If I, like I said, if I caught some steals, like I said, I always drop hashtag Marvelous Money in the comments. But like I said, let me know, man, how I did. Did I spend too much? Did, like I said, did I get away with highway robbery? Hey, let me know. I, I like y'all feedback. I like my feedback. So my next nigga show I go to, I know what I'm doing. But my next nigga show I'm going to, you guys, I won't pick up too many person. These are kind of Christmas gifts to myself. So, hey, like I said, I will be I will be selling more. Like I said, I'm, I'm always down for trades, all right? So, but, hey, thank y'all for coming this marvelous Monday to check this out, man, with my, I got it. I gave y'all Supreme Skittles review all in one. They were, they were wonderful, by the way. Um... Everything I picked up, something new, something light, something used, man. Hey, so make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe at the bottom, man. And I'll see y'all later. I promise y'all more content on the way. Peace.